How are you supposed to follow a legend? That is what everybody is wondering about when it comes to New England Patriots quarterback Jared Stidham. But who is Jared Stidham? If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I release videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I make content on players' backstories and I will also be doing college football conference preview videos and 2021 NFL draft content. Jarrett Ryan Stidham was born on August 8, 1996 in Corbin, Kentucky. Stidham started playing football when he was 5 years old and fell in love with the game. When Stidham was 9, he moved to Stevensville, Texas with his mother and brother. Stevensville is known as the unofficial cowboy capital of the world. When Stidham was 18, he moved in with the Copeland family. Stidham does not like to talk about his family, but he still talks to his birth parents. Stidham attended Stevensville High School, which is where former Baylor coach Art Bryles used to coach and where he won four state titles. Football is different in Texas than anywhere else. It is state title or bust. That was no different in Stevensville, Texas. As a junior, Stidham threw for 2,613 yards and 30 touchdowns, completing 156 of his 254 passes. Stidham also rushed for 821 yards and 14 touchdowns on 138 carries. This resulted in Stevensville going 12-2, where they lost in the 3A Division I state semifinals. Going into Stidham's senior year, expectations were high. Not only was he coming off an amazing junior season, he also was a 5-star prospect who attended the Elite 11 camp, which is the premier quarterback competition, where he finished 7th overall. Expectations were so high, Bleacher Report even made a documentary video about his senior season. So how did he do? He only threw 2,934 yards and 35 touchdowns. Stidham also rushed for 909 yards and another 15 touchdowns. He did all of this while missing most of two games. Unfortunately, Stephenville went 9-4 and, and lost in the D1 Regional Finals. Stidham would not win a state ring, but he did win multiple awards. Stidham played in the Under Armour All-American game and was voted to the 2014 First Team All-District, Second Team All-State, and a part of the Austin American Statesman, Fabulous 55, and the Waco Tribune Herald Top 30 players. As I already mentioned, Stidham was a 5-star recruit coming out of high school. He was the number one dual threat quarterback in the country, second best player in Texas behind Malik Jefferson, and 13th best player in the nation. Players in his class included Kyler Murray, Blake Barnett, Josh Rosen, Sam Darnold, and Drew Locke. Stidham had over 20 Division I offers including the likes of Baylor, Alabama, Texas, Notre Dame, Texas Tech, and Auburn. Stidham decided to commit to Baylor and play under Art Bryles. When Stidham first got to Baylor, he was the third series, Stidham was thrown into the starting role. Stidham had his first career start against Kansas State. Not only was Baylor ranked, he casually threw for 419 yards and three touchdowns, completing 20, but also threw two interceptions in a losing effort. Stidham was ready to rebound and have another big game against number 6 Oklahoma State. And he was until his season came crashing down. While he was scrambling, Stidham broke both his ankle and fibula and his season was over. At the time of the injury, Stidham had 258 yards and a touchdown. Baylor finished 10-3 that season and expectations were once again high for Stidham going into the offseason. Then one of the most heinous things the college football world had ever seen was uncovered. A massive sexual assault scandal was revealed to be occurring at Baylor University, and Art Bryles was a part of the cover-up. University officials had been retaliating and silencing victims of sexual assault. In one case, a university official had seven women come talk to her about one player, and nothing was done. It was believed that Baylor had created a culture where football players were above the rules. Art Bryles was fired, and the president of the university was demoted, and later stepped down. This scandal not only rocked the college football world, but all of the United States. How could a university do something like this to their students? Stidham woke up to his phone blowing up, where he learned about what was going on. He had a choice, let this situation become what defines him, although he had nothing to do with it, or take his career into his own hands. Stidham decided to take control of his life and decided he needed to leave Baylor. Some of his teammates called him a quitter, while others understood his decision to look out for himself. Stidham decided to stay in Waco and take classes at a local community college instead. There was one problem. The community college did not have a football team. Stidham needed to clear his head. During his time away from college football, he would go to Midway High School, a local school, and help by being their scout team quarterback. 
Stidham sat out the whole 2016 football season. Although Stidham sat out the 2016 football season, he was still the top transfer prospect in 2017. Stidham was once again a 5-star prospect in the same Juco class as Jordan Te'amu. Check out my video I did on him with the link above. Stidham had interest from Texas A&M and Florida, but his only offer came from Auburn, a school that recruited Stidham hard out of high school. Stidham decided to commit to Auburn where he became the starting quarterback right away. Stidham played really well in 2017 and going into the Iron Bowl, Auburn was 9-2. The Auburn-Alabama rivalry is one of the biggest rivalries in all of sports and is where players' legacies are made. The game was even more crucial because the winner would win the SEC West and play Georgia in the championship game. Stidham played well throwing for 237 yards, completing 21 of his 28 passes, and rushing for 51 yards and a touchdown. Auburn upset number one Alabama 26-14 and won the SEC West. Unfortunately, Auburn lost the SEC championship game to Georgia and the Peach Bowl to UCF, who claimed to be the real national champions. Stidham threw for 3,158 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions, completing 246 of his 370 pass attempts. Stidham also rushed for 4 touchdowns. Stidham was voted the SEC Newcomer of the Year and Second Team SEC. Not only did Stidham play well on the field, he also performed well in the classroom, being named Academic Top Tiger and to the SEC Academic Honor Roll. Going into Stidham's second year at Auburn, he was a projected first round draft pick. Expectations were for Auburn to compete for a national championship. The opposite happened as Auburn struggled. Stidham threw for 2,794 yards, 18 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions, as well as 3 rushing touchdowns. Stidham finished his career at Auburn with a spectacular performance against Purdue, throwing for five touchdowns in a 63-14 win in the Music City Bowl. While at Auburn, Stidham played in 27 games where he threw for 5,953 yards, 36 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions while completing 64% of his passes. While at the NFL Combine, Stidham ran a 4.81 in the 40-yard dash. He also jumped 31 inches in the vertical jump and 110 inches in the broad jump. Stidham measured out to be 6'2", 218 pounds. Due to a lackluster junior season, Stidham's draft stock crashed and he became a projected fourth round pick. That is the exact round the New England Patriots selected him in the 2019 NFL Draft. The Patriots took Stidham with the 133rd overall draft pick. The expectations everyone had for Stidham was the idea he was going to sit and learn behind Tom Brady over the next few years. Stidham did not get a lot of playing time his rookie year only playing in three games. Stidham completed two of his four passes for 14 yards and an interception. A lot of craziness ensued in New England this offseason. Tom Brady left and signed with the Buccaneers. After this happened, everyone for the most part believed the Patriots would select Jordan Love 23rd overall in the 2020 draft. When the Patriots were on the clock with the 23rd pick, Jordan Love was still available. Instead of taking Love, the Patriots traded out of the pick. The Patriots did not select a single quarterback in this year's NFL Draft. Barring New England signing any of the veteran quarterbacks still on the market, Stidham is expected to compete and win the starting quarterback job over Brian Hoyer this season. Currently, Stidham is listed as QB1 on the Patriots' step chart. Stidham has had to embrace the grind up to this point, and it will be interesting to see where he goes from here. If you like this video, check out my other Who Is videos in the series. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and until next time, remember to embrace the grind.